Sitco Medical Solutions offers multiple solutions for hip and pelvic immobilization and positioning. Patient setup for pelvic radiotherapy treatment presents many unique challenges. Due to the shape and dynamics of the site, clinicians often encounter difficulties with both interfraction and intrafraction errors. Externally, skin markings are often distorted by various positioning devices, which challenges the reproducibility of intrafraction setup. Internally, the tumor location is often affected by intrafraction organ motion. In addition, enveloping immobilization of the pelvic region can sometimes result in an increased bolus effect, as well as further distortion of skin markings. Rotational errors must be addressed and are not easily corrected on standard treatment tables. Effective pelvic positioning and immobilization devices should improve both inter- and intrafractional accuracy, add little to no additional attenuation or bolus, and provide an enhanced level of comfort for the patient. We'll begin with a few basic instructions and then demonstrate the carbon fiber belly board, hip fix system, combo fix, and back lock cushions. Sivco hip and pelvic positioning products are designed to handle a wide variety of patient and therapeutic situations, and there are some basic instructions that apply to all product use. In all cases, Sivco products should only be used by order of a physician. All disposable products, including thermoplastics, are intended for one patient only and should not be reused for additional patients. Reusable products should be appropriately sanitized. When treating certain pelvic and colorectal cases, there is a need to avoid irradiation of the small bowel. To achieve this, many departments use a belly board with an abdominal aperture. By positioning the patient's abdomen within the aperture while simultaneously elevating the pelvis, the small bowel is displaced within the cutout, essentially falling out of the field for both planning and treatment purposes. The Sivco Carbon Fiber Belly Board is designed to reduce the irradiated small bowel volume of patients undergoing treatment in the pelvis region, while providing enhanced comfort and reproducibility. This indexable positioning device features an abdominal aperture for capture and containment of the small bowel. For enhanced repositioning, prominent lateral rulers provide an external setup reference point, while an embedded fiducial crosshair array assists in additional repositioning for IGRT. To begin setup, place the carbon fiber belly board onto the table, securing it into position via the two-pin lock bar. An additional slide guide lock bar may be used for added stability. Next, have the patient mount the board from the foot end, positioning the patient slightly superior to the intended treatment position location on the board. Now, begin sliding the patient down the board in a cranial caudal direction until the patient's abdomen has sufficiently entered the aperture and the pubic symphysis is resting upon the belly board's pelvic platform. Center the patient. This movement results in the small bowel being compressed and rolled forward into the abdominal aperture, thereby dropping significantly out of the field. An optional prone thorax support cushion can be used to elevate the patient's head and thorax region, helping minimize undesirable chest compression of large chested patients. To use the prone thorax support, simply position the cushion within the border of the belly board's upper cutout, utilizing the Velcro pads to secure it in place. Once the setup position has been accepted, apply reference setup marks as needed taking additional note of the patient's location relative to the lateral laser line upon the belly board's lateral rulers. The carbon fiber belly board is an efficient, reproducible, and ergonomic prone positioning device that helps aid in reducing the irradiated volume of the small bowel. Sivco's IGRT compatible hip fix system provides enhanced immobilization for the hip and pelvic region. While the loose skin surface of many pelvic patients may be unreliable for setup verification, image guidance using bone and soft tissue has proven to be a trustworthy source for positioning correction and accurate tumor targeting. However, once the IGRT setup corrections have been made, there still remains a need to ensure that the patient does not move during the treatment delivery. To assure adequate reduction of this intrafractional movement, there must be sufficient immobilization of the patient. For such fixation, a thermoplastic solution is often used. Designed for setup in either the prone or supine position, 
The hit fix consists of an indexable base plate with a cutout treatment window and utilizes a single thermoplastic sheet with side docking handles for fixation. These sheets are available in two thicknesses, 2.4 and 3.2 millimeters, and also in perforated, solid, or IMRT reinforced patterns. In addition, the hip fix can be integrated with the back lock system to provide both repositioning and immobilization benefits. To begin setup with the hip fix, position the two pin lock bar onto the table and index the hip fix board onto the two pin lock bar. Next, position the patient onto the board, do an initial visual check to make sure the patient is centered and not rotated on the board and adjust the patient as needed. Then shift the couch top so that the lateral lasers land on a predetermined scale mark on the side of the hip fix board. Marker 15 is often ideal. Mark the patient to the lateral midline lasers. These marks will now serve as daily repositioning marks for correctly placing the patient onto the base plate. Once positioning marks have been applied, insert the thermoplastic sheet into the water bath. Once it has been heated for the recommended amount of time, Remove the softened thermoplastic from the water bath and swiftly dab with a towel. For this presentation, we will be using an IMRT reinforced 3.2 millimeter thermoplastic sheet with disposable handles. Working with two people, hold the handles and pre-stretch the sheet above the patient. Slowly pull the sheet down over the patient and lock each handle onto the hip fix base plate in the docking points nearest the patient. Gently stretch the rear portion of the sheet downward, locking the groin piece between the patient's thighs. Continue to mold the thermoplastic sheet around the patient's contours to ensure a snug fit. To avoid shrinkage, allow the thermoplastic to cool completely before proceeding. Next, apply initial treatment marks to the cooled and hardened cast. Additional reference alignment marks, such as handle and row positions, can be written on the hip fix setup sheet. Begin the scan and mark the cast, not the patient, with the final isocenter alignment marks. In the treatment room, begin by placing the two pin indexing bar onto the appropriate position on the table and place the hip fix base plate over the two pin bar. Next, position the patient onto the hip fix board and drive the table forward so that the lateral lasers land on the base plate's predetermined scale mark specific to the patient. Utilizing the patient's skin positioning marks, align the patient to the lateral and midline lasers, thereby ensuring the same position of the patient relative to the base plate as occurred in their CT sim. Once properly aligned, bring the preformed hip fix thermoplastic cast down and over the patient and dock into notated docking points on the base plate. At this point, the thermoplastic cast should be serving primarily as an immobilization drape. Once secured, shift the patient via the table to the treatment marks that were placed on the cast. Image as needed, correct if warranted, and treat. To enhance the repositioning characteristics of the hip fix system, consider integrating the hip fix back lock cushion with the hip fix base plate. To simplify workflow and avoid rotational errors, many departments favor using a simple wedge system placed directly under the patient's knees and feet for supine pelvic setups. The Combifix is an efficient modular wedge-based positioning device for supine pelvic setups. Combifix's indexable base accommodates Civco's Knee-Fix 2 and Feet-Fix 2 cushions, allowing for repeatable custom positioning of the patient's lower extremities. Both the Knee Fix 2 and Feet Fix 2 can be indexed independently. To accommodate various size patients, the Feet Fix couch support can be placed at various points along the Combifix frame, and its adjustable tilting feature provides a natural angle for enhanced patient comfort. The removable support structure allows the department to use the Feet Fix couch support as either an integrated piece or as a standalone positioner. Five centimeter elevation blocks provide custom elevation for the knee fix cushion, allowing the clinician to create a natural, ideal relation between feet and legs. Shoulder retractors are also available for use with the Combifix. To begin setup with the Combifix, dock the two pin lock bar and the two pin slide guide lock bar onto the table and index the Combifix frame to the lock bars. 
Next, place the feet fix couch support onto the most superior point of the combo fix frame and insert feet fix 2 cushion snugly into place. Place the knee fix 2 cushion into the cushion guides. Begin by positioning the patient's knees. Next, adjust the placement of the feet fix couch support along the longitudinal plane of the combo fix frame ensuring that the docking location results in the patient's knee resting fully upon the knee fix cushion. If the feet fix support structure is at the most superior point on the frame and the knee is still not resting fully on the knee fix cushion, utilize the 5 cm elevation blocks to help shorten the distance between the knee and heel, ensuring a proper fit. Then, adjust the tilt on the feet fix support structure until the desired natural angulation has been achieved. Record all settings on the Combifix setup sheet, continue with simulation and treatment as required. The Combifix system can also be used as a shoulder retractor for head and neck treatments. To utilize this feature, first select the appropriate length shoulder retractor strap. Two lengths are available. Have the patient reach through the padded hand grips and securely grip the strap. Next, pull the strap inferior until optimal shoulder retraction has been reached and insert the docking pin into the corresponding docking hole in the foot support structure. Repeat procedure for the other side. Record all appropriate settings. The Comba Fix is an ideal pelvic positioner for any department that is looking for an efficient and reproducible wedge-based approach to pelvic setup and treatment. All hip and pelvic setups require accurate repositioning and secure, comfortable immobilization. As no two bodies are the same, there is often a need for customizable setup devices that can conform to each patient's unique shape. Such a custom fit results in increased repositioning and enhanced comfort for the patient. Zipco's VacLock cushions are an efficient, reusable repositioning system for hip and pelvic radiation therapy. Backlock cushions come in a variety of shapes and sizes designed to accommodate various body types. Each cushion contains tiny polystyrene beads that compress together to form a custom contour of the patient when air is evacuated out of the cushion. Backlock cushions have a robust exterior that is easy to clean. The cushions are available in either puncture-resistant polyurethane or durable nylon. Some nylon cushions also feature an indexing batten compatible with Sidco's two-pin indexing system. To begin setup, select the proper size and shape cushion for the particular patient's setup. For this setup, we have chosen a 75 by 120 centimeter rectangular pelvic back lock cushion. If the back lock cushion is indexable, begin by indexing the two-pin lock bar and the two-pin slide guide lock bar to the table. And secure the cushion to the bar via the indexing batten attached to the cushion. The two-pin slide guide lock bar is essential for stability and also to accommodate the constriction of the back lock cushion during forming. If the back lock cushion is not indexable, position the cushion square with the couch top. Next, pre-position the beads within the cushion, anticipating areas where more beads may be needed for necessary support, and removing beads from areas where attenuation could be a concern. When initially forming the cushion, be mindful of clearance considerations, such as the CT or the linic gantry, then have the patient carefully enter into the cushion. Evacuate some of the air out of the cushion, stopping at the point where the cushion is still malleable, just able to hold shape and form. Perform final adjustments at this stage, creating as much definition as possible and being mindful to ensure that the patient is not rotated. Finally, evacuate the remaining air out of the cushion, continue until the cushion is rigid and has ceased to constrict any longer. Sivco's backlock cushions feature a self-sealing valve that ensures an airtight seal when the vacuum hose is detached. A valve sealing cap ensures that the valve remains safe from an accidental air intake. If the scalp film or floral necessitates repositioning the patient, simply add air back into the cushion and perform the revisions. When satisfied, re-evacuate the air from the cushion until rigidity is achieved. Backlock cushions are reusable, therefore it is recommended that positioning and treatment marks never be placed permanently on the cushion. Instead, use paper or masking tape to draw positioning marks onto the cushion. Patient ID can be attached to the cushion accordingly or via detachable tags designed specifically for backlock use. Due to necessary sanitary and safety considerations, backlock cushions should not be stored on top of each other while in use. 
Specific backlock storage systems such as shelves or racks should be used for storage. Each backlock cushion features a reinforced corner designed for hanging the cushion. Once the treatment cycle with the backlock cushion has been completed, the cushion should be given a final thorough cleaning. The cushion is now ready for the next patient treatment cycle. During this presentation, we've demonstrated four Civco immobilization and positioning options for the hip and pelvic region. The carbon fiber belly board, hip fix system, combi fix, and backlock cushions. Civco's range of hip and pelvic immobilization and positioning products enables clinicians to individualize treatment for each patient. Our hip and pelvic devices contribute to dependable and accurate radiotherapy delivery. For more information about Civco hip and pelvic positioning systems and accessories, contact Civco at 800-842-8688 or 712-737-8688 or visit www.civco.com.